Okay, uh, here's a tutorial on uh, after you have ripped your DVD and you have your uh, audio and video folder. Okay, now what I do is rip the DVDs that I have and uh, I only rip the main movie, which there's a lot of programs out there rip DVDs. I use DVD Fab, DVD Cripper. I have a tutorial on that. It'll show you how to only rip the main part of the movie and cut out all the other stuff that way it cuts the size down like really big uh, it almost cuts it in half okay this is the movie matchstick men and uh, here's your audio and video file if you don't know anything about these watch some of the other tutorials you'll figure out what those are for okay now this is to create a DVD that can be played in any DVD player you know since I've had DVD players now they have DVD players that play the DivX movies, which is a compressed video file. And I have a tutorial to show you how to turn this big, you know, say this is a four four gigabyte DVD, turn it to one gigabyte. That way you can fit four of them on the same disc, a single layer disc. You fit four of them, and then uh, play them in a DVD DVD player that plays DivX movies or like a computer and stuff that has a DVD, DivX codec which you can put on any of them. Alright, so you have your video and audio files. You gotta know what those are before you start because it doesn't probably won't make any sense. Alright, so image burn. By now you should know what image burn is. Free burning software. It's cool. Uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't do any of this without image burn. Alright, so go up here. Go to mode. Click on build and you have much stuff right here uh, your file you go browse to the file where you keep your, your ripped movies or they have to be ripped click on that say so this is matchstick man I click on matchstick man and you only click on that folder now see you have to have this audio folder if you open it up there's nothing in it it's a blank folder and the video folder has all the videos in it Okay, now just click on Matchstick Man like it is highlighter right there, and then click OK. If you do not, if you click on just the video folder, it will not play in a regular DVD player. Alright, so then you got it in here, you got your DVD, I have a single layer DVD, 4.7 gigabytes in there. And uh, you gotta have it in there or it won't be able to do the next process. You click the calculate button, it pops up, does a bunch of stuff, it tells you how much space is left on this disc. This is only using 59% of the disk. If it's a real big, I think it's only 2.3, 2.7 gigs is what it says right there. So it's not using all the disk. And then you click <coughs> right, right there, this big icon, right folder to disk. And that's all you gotta do. And it'll play in any DVD player. But it'll be smaller now, so you can fit it on a single layer DVD, which are a lot cheaper than dual layer DVDs. And, uh, a lot easier to mess with if you don't do this or if you don't like to do this or you want to convert start converting your rip movies to divx movies uh i have a tutorial for that as well all right later